Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going to be summoning a bit for Kron. Uh, basically, I've been saving up my uh, Covenant bookmark since I started playing, but I kind of want to summon now. Uh, not necessarily for him, although if we get him, of course, it's cool. Uh, but without any more rambling, let's go. I probably want to spend maybe down to 800 bookmarks. That's going to take a while. Whatever, it's cool, I guess. Okay. Our first summon yields nothing. Actually, why don't we have sound? Ruzid. Whatever, it's good. Oh, probably we can just hit the summon again and not go to that screen anymore. That's to be expected. The rates aren't super high. Another one of those. I think I have all of the three-star artifacts because most of the time I'm summoning, like doing my freely, uh, free daily summon, it's an artifact. And there actually aren't that many three-star artifacts, I believe. I'm not super excited about an artifact. At least with heroes, you can use them as fodder. Um, but yeah, these artifacts, you can't really, I mean, you can use them to upgrade your other artifacts, but like, it doesn't give very much. I think this is our third, maybe fourth. Another artifact, another Ancient Sheath. What's it gonna be this time? Still no four star. It's good, it's good. Another one of those? Really, dude? I still have some optimism left in me. I don't summon that often, so it's, I'm, I'm not super used to the rates yet, I would say. Really? Another Ancient Sheath? Are we just gonna keep getting those same two artifacts? It's cool though. It's cool though. We got this. We got this. It's gonna be a four star this time. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, it's not. But it is Don't at least Helga. Whatever that you. means. I've literally never heard a single person talk about Helga, so she's probably not good. Uh, okay, an attack increase, but five turn cooldown. May as well just use Elson, the nerfed to crap Elson. 35% chance to decrease defense for two turns. Yeah, that can actually go up a bit with skill enhance. I, re I really need a defense breaker. I'm not too sure. I was kind of banking on eventually getting Tyria, uh, but she also just has just had her defense break removed, so wouldn't know. Maybe I'll get a good defense breaker in here somewhere. Already got a few of those as well. Aqua Rose. Okay, still no four star, but you know, it's good. Oh, finally. Four star. Here we go. What is it gonna be? An artifact? Probably one I have already. No, but it's a knight exclusive, which I don't have any knights. Increases the defense of all allies by 10% and takes 10% of the damage suffered by them. Does not overlap with an artifact. Uh, I mean, yeah, it does sound kind of interesting and definitely knight exclusive sort of thing going on there. But, um, yeah, it's not very exciting to be honest. Anyway, let's go. Maybe, maybe a four star hero at one. Ooh, wow, another four star. All right, it's pretty lucky. It's pretty lucky. What do we got? Uh, oh, this guy. Well, I finally meet someone Zerato. 50% chance AoE stun, it looks like. Normal attack, extra damage when they're debuffed. Might go good with the rage set, this new uh, gear set. And a chance to decrease speed. Okay, so not super interesting looking for me right now I, I i don't really see what uh like he might be decent for arena with that stun and the speed decrease but um like i, I don't really care about arena too much so uh i'm probably gonna leave him there for a while i don't know maybe i will be interested in arena at one point and uh we'll raise him Ooh, okay it's only it's, it's just an artifact but it's a five star please a good one please not one i already have it is literally I have two five star artifacts and this is one of them okay you know it's not all bad I can raise it I guess <sighs> even so getting a new artifact would have been better but what can you do let's go maybe we're on a good streak now you know maybe we'll get a good four star in here somewhere I don't know, in uh, attack and critical hit chance, but it's a pretty selfish buff, it's only for him. Fence break and unable to be buffed for two turns, 50% chance, still five turn cooldown, that's unfortunate. Can be as low as a four turn cooldown and up to a 75% chance. Doesn't sound bad, but not a priority, I guess. Ooh, this th this is a new one, because we got this thing, fill the journal thing. Okay, it's nothing exciting, but it's something new at least. Artifact, how can we have Oh yeah, I've never gotten this one. Effect resistance, 2%? Oh well, it can stack to five times, so eh, but even so. All right, number question mark, summon. Let's 
go, I guess. Misty Chain. Some of the damage dealt is absorbed to heal all allies. When the enemy is defeated, grants revive to the ally with the lowest health for two turns. Will that actually make them revive? That doesn't sound bad, actually. 80% chance to make them unhealable and decrease attack for two turns. 80% chance up to 100. Hmm. Well, she definitely doesn't sound bad, actually. Four and five stars are, of course, a lot more desirable now, especially after the patch, because they got stat boosts, which makes obviously three stars less interesting because I think they already had a stat divide before that and uh, now it's even bigger. Rocking another three star, Azalea. She can recover her own health. Provoking, unhealable, decreased speed. Okay, Meh. Oh, fill the hero journal. Dang, this might be a good one. It's a three star, but apparently a new one. Oh, Taranor guard. I heard about him. I think I was on Reddit a while ago and someone was really really into this guy, and I don't believe he got nerfed. Yeah, 50% defense down on his normal attack, no cooldown, and that can actually go up to 75% chance. It's only a one turn, unfortunately, but it also has a one turn cooldown. So, uh, yeah, that can be pretty good. Also, his passive combat readiness of all allies increases by 25%, and the caster is granted increased attack for a turn when a dual attack is triggered. So, we also have this new dual attack gear set, so who knows, that could be pretty good. Absorbing combat readiness, does that mean he takes 40% off of theirs and gives it to him? So I mean, all around this guy sounds actually really good. He's, he looks just like a boring NPC, but his skills sound super powerful. So yeah, that's pretty cool, let's keep going though. I mainly wanted to summon because I want someone new to raise, like I almost have enough fodder. Hey, there's Tyria. Finally, when I, <laughs> finally when she's useless now. Uh, okay, yeah, she doesn't do any. She doesn't do anything anymore. No combat readiness for herself. No defense break at all. Damn, what a shame. Now I finally get her the day after she's destroyed. Let's keep going. At least, I, well, actually, it wouldn't matter if I raised her. I can get all the stuff back anyway. Uh, but maybe she would need a specific gear set, which is kind of wasted. Let's go ahead. I think I have a few of her already anyway. Still a three star. I kind of want to go until I at least get one more four star. Even if it's an artifact. Like, whatever. Judith. What's it going to be this time? Another Hazel. Next. Four star. An artifact. An Aqua Rose. Ooh. Got a four star coming along. Let's see. It's an artifact. Rose Hargana, Ranger exclusive, dual attack chance 7%, increases attack by 30% when it's not the caster's turn. Oh, of course, because I guess when she dual attacks, it won't technically be their turn and they'll have 30% increased attack. Okay, well I can kind of see that being okay if you like really build them to do dual attacks. I don't know how many summons we are doing, I, I said to about 800, that's probably what I'm going to stick with. But, uh, yeah, I forgot how, how many we actually started with. We're probably using about 300 Covenant bookmarks here. Another three star, another artifact, forest totem, continuous healing, another three star, another aqua rose, another three star, oh, another Taranor guard. I mean, I don't need two, but, oh wait, no, that's not true. I can increase his memory imprint. Another three star, another Enot, Enot, ooh, four star. What's it gonna be? Come on, a hero. Ah, I have Shuri already. Again, whatever. Guess I could raise his memory imprint. It might, might get him to five star also, because I have two now. Or I'll just wait until I get a third one. Three star. I wish there was kind of some sort of pity counter on the normal rate ups too. Like, m maybe not guaranteed getting it, but maybe just ha having your chances increased at least. That would be nice. Butterfly Medallion, another 3 star, another Aqua Rose, another 3 star, Rima, increasing skill cooldowns for 3 turns, putting to sleep, caster's cooldown, okay, 3 star, checked, 3 star, my, my, like my 10th oath key, 3 star, another one of her, 4 star, come on, no 4, what, seriously, I just got her, okay, come on, you can do it, yes, 4 star, please, not another Shuri, or someone else I already have, I don't really have that many, uh, I don't have this yet. Soul Weaver exclusive it increases the caster's combat readiness by 15% when using a skill that does not attack enemies. Okay. Eh. 
Eh, I don't know. I have two of those five star soul weaver artifacts now, so kind of a shame because it doesn't sound bad, but I've already invested too much in the other soul weaver artifact. I don't know, maybe if I get another Soul Weaver at one point. Another one of those not new anymore ones. Oh, we have 899, so I guess we're gonna do like what? 20 more summons or so? 19? Alexa. Hope I didn't activate anyone's three star. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been a while since Invoice Pipe trolled me, so there it is. It had to be included. Three star. Another Labyrinth Cube. All right, just doing a few more here. Come on, let's get, let's get a five star. I know the chances are low, but Come on, I've never, okay, well I did get Destina, but she's literally the only five star I've gotten. And yeah, I, I don't summon that much, obviously, but still, we summoned a lot for Cecilia, I believe. We didn't get, I think, I don't think we even got a four star, like maybe an artifact. I think we got like two five star artifacts, but not very good ones. Really? Why? Three star. Uh, has a 25% chance to dispel one debuff. That might come in handy in some specific cases. Well, to be fair, we did get a five star. It was just not a very exciting one. It was a duplicate artifact. Like a new artifact, you know, that would be pretty cool. But a duplicate is not exciting at all. Let's go four star. Yes. All right. So someone good, someone not duplicate. Oh, it's Sid. I have arrived. Sid Man, Sid scares me so much when I fight him in arena. All right, cool. I don't have any earth DPS either. I actually don't have any DPS at all. Oh, well, I do have um, the archer lady. Hey, can I make that go away? Okay. Attacks using an advantageous element when the caster is granted increased speed. Ah, oh, damage dealt increased proportional to caster's speed. Hmm, that's really cool. Wait, what? When the caster is granted increased speed? and decreases defense of the enemy for one turn. A critical hit will increase speed of the caster for two turns. Damage dealt increases proportional. Huh, that's really interesting. I wonder if he would go well with Silk or if you should just use his normal attack first to get that increased speed if he has a really high critical. Yeah, he might be the one I'm raising. He sounds, he so, yeah, and he's just good, I think. Uh, but regardless, we got 59. We'll probably go to 799 just cause it's closer or maybe 804. I'll decide. If we get a four star on 804 or whatever, then, then then we'll stop. If not, we'll go one more. Sword of the Morning. I'm already happy with Sid, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but you know, wouldn't complain about the other dude. Forgot his name, Kron. Yeah, Kron. Another Helga. Jenna. Decrease combat readiness. Five star. This is it. Five star. All right, four star. Not gonna complain. What's it gonna be? Cub. That's an artifact. Good one. Hellcutter, my third at least. Uh, okay, are there like not very many four star artifacts? Cause I'm getting duplicates a lot. Another one of those, five star. It's five star, okay. Totem, here it is, this is the five star. Okay, or it, it, it. cursed compass. All right, I'll settle for a four star as well. Raynon's memoir, four star, five star, six star, four star. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. What do we got? Another artifact, another Hellcutter probs. Infinity Basket, I've heard about this. Increases allies chance of dual attack by 7% during the caster's turn. Dual attack will deal 20% more damage. Probably three more summons to do since I guess we're not gonna get a, another four star so fast. But I guess that doesn't really matter. You know, chances are always the same as there is no another one. No pity counter is what I wanted to say. <laughs> uh. Oh no, I already had 7.99. Dang, now we have to go down to zero. Eh, it's a three star. All right, yeah. Guess that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. Another invoice pipe, please. Nope, don't think I had that one. Reduce cooldown. But yeah, uh, you know, it's okay. Oh, we got a gold, three gold transmit stones. Two more and we get to do another moonlight summon. <laughs> get an Elson, got some stuff, more stuff. All right, so yeah, I mean, wasn't the best, but uh, hey, we got Sid. I'm happy about that, happy about Sid. We got another one of those. We can enhance that, sure, why not? I'm probably not gonna raise another one. Maybe we should put this in there, just for celebration. It can go up to 18 now, so that would only be 17. So we could do it, just don't really know if I really want to. 18% though, non-attack skill, she does have two of them. Are there any heroes which have a non-attack skill as their basic skill? I don't think so, but that would be so op on them. All right, well, tell me, should I raise Tanaror, Tan, 
Tar or Sid. I do still have a lot of fodder from when I was farming, so uh, with a bit of work and getting some more two stars and raising them up to three star, I probably could uh, get one up to five star, one, one up to six star perhaps. Um, but I don't know, kind of also thought about getting Destina to six star. I do bring her everywhere and uh, she is the one getting targeted the most, so getting her a little bit uh, more levels would be good as well. It's just, eh. I would rather prefer to raise the DPS first. Sid does seem like that. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. You know, leaving a like as always. If you did happen to enjoy, it's always greatly appreciated. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.